Hello and welcome ladies and gents to the final part of Ken Follett's The Pillars of the Earth. This is going to contain huge spoilers because, as you know, we're edging towards the end of book three, which is going to be the end of the whole story full stop. There is going to be a spoiler-packed review as well at the end of this one, guys, so feel free to skip ahead any parts that you don't want to get spoiled on. Likewise, if you want to skip forward to the review, I will put timestamps in the description of this video if you want to skip ahead. Why does Lord Hamley need all that food? He's got more than enough. Shut it, Woburn. Smear your face with dung and lower your head. It's the only way you get out of here alive. It's no coincidence that Hamley always asks for women to bring the tributes. Oh, shut up. <laughs> So we are now on, I think, chapter 19. This is where, hopefully, we're going to get a full revenge arc on William Hamley. Um, lots of carnage happened. The last few chapters have been really busy in terms of drama, intrigue. Uh, we found out who Jack's father is as well, what happened to him. And as I suspected, the church was behind it. Some of the other uh, Hamleys, Percy Hamley was behind it as well. And he was wrongfully hanged and killed. So hopefully we're going to get some revenge on this one. And then some. Patience, patience. Everyone will get a chance to pay their dues to Lord Hamley. Patience, patience. They I'm are just a shepherd's the daughter. Dry. I have no business here. Shut up. Bloody beggars. Across the earth. What do you think you're doing? Get back in line before the sheriff sees you. I want to go home. Oi, you there. Me? Ass, I meant you. That's a pretty face you got there. You're coming with me. You should see my credentials. What? Leave her. Take me instead. Hmm. Well, whatever. Yeah, I'll walk to the other side of the yard and talk to Walter. He'll get you settled. And don't you dare stray from the path. Cool. Talk to the knights. They say Lord Hamley might lose Shiring soon. What if the next Earl has us all hanged? Calm down. None of these royals really care about this shite hole. <laughs> I know those two. They used to fight for father. Approach the knights. May I interrupt? What is it? How can you fight for someone like William Hamley? Yeah. My father was nothing like that tyrant. He's an a-hole. Oh, dear Lord, it's you. You always sat in your neat little keep playing hostess to his well-off guests. While the poor snuffed it just as they do now. Well, at least William treats us as his equals, and not like pawns on a board of nine men's Morris. Yes. Was my father really that bad? Uh... My father was a good Earl. Keep on telling yourself that. But that's not our story. What? Many knights fighting for him were former outlaws who had nowhere to go anymore. Your father may have given us food and shelter, but it was no better than what you'd give to livestock. Really? Was my father really that bad? Your mother could have answered that question. He once told me that she was very unhappy when she died. And you never wondered why? True. I'm looking Sorry for guys, Lady we're just Elizabeth checking the Hamley. lightings all good. She's caring for Lady Should have done this before the video, keep. but but only Lord William and Walter are allowed toot toot. to go there, and they'll kill you if they find you there. They will find so you. So you won't help me. But they will kill We've you. already helped you more than enough by not ratting you out. Okay. Don't tell anyone that you saw me. We won't if you promise to leave now. We will not speak of this. Um, let's go to the keep. 
Are you done yet? Almost. Let me just see if I took enough. Yes, Elizabeth. What are you doing here? You need to leave. No. Don't come any closer. William has me watched. What's taking so long? Uh, I, I forgot the pork. I'll be out shortly. Wait a moment, then follow me. We don't have much time. You will look for me any moment now. So why did you come? He speak to Regan Hamley. I'm waiting. King Stephen has declared a truce with Empress Maud. William's tyranny is over. This land might finally see peace again. That's why I'm here, to talk to his mother. But if we can't agree upon terms, I'm afraid we will have to take Earl's Castle by force. There's an army of outlaws hiding in the woods waiting for my signal. Will people die? Yes. Yes, people will die. That's why you have to come with me. I... I can't. <clears throat> Not without Lady Regan. You need to save Lady Regan first. She's on her deathbed though, isn't she? Uh, I will if you promise to leave right now. I will, if you agree to leave right now. Is that a promise? It is. Mm. All right, I... I'll try my best. I will try to sneak off then. She might die in her Hurry sleep. In there. Just saying. Or do you want me to come in and pull you out? I need to go. M maybe Walter can take you to Lady Regan. Walter? William's dog? Don't call him that. He's not as bad as people say he is. William won't allow me to talk to him anymore. Now Lady Regan is all I have left. Please, please be careful. I will. Come on. Just sneak in there. Thank the Lord she made it through. Now I have to find Regan Hamley. Regan Hamley. Turn my dagger to me, she won't fight, I will. Oh, damn. So, it's fitting that we get to do that. Oi, sod off. You have no reason to be here. Okay, sorry. It's fitting that we get to take on uh, <coughs> William ourselves. He's just called so much aggro throughout the whole game. Um, it was told me you would help. Elizabeth claims you aren't such a bad person after all. Am I not? Have you forgotten that I killed your family steward? You got problems over there, Walter? I would be a better ruler than my father. Yeah. I know my father wasn't always a good and just person. He killed, just as William does. But I would fight to be better. I would listen to the needs of this land's people. What are you saying? Take me to Lady Hamley. I need to talk to the Lady Hamley. I want you to take me to her. Kill them both. You've got guts, <laughs> I'll give you that. So, you think I'm a nice bloke? And you think That's this is enough to convince me that you'd be a better ruler than anyone who came before you? Don't make me laugh. Hugh! What? Hefner. Let me end William Hamley's reign. If you let me go, I promise I will end William Hamley's reign. I don't believe you. But it's not up to me to judge these things. I'll take you to Lady Hamley. She'll decide. We're in. We are in. <laughs> We're back here again. Lady. Elizabeth. She's not here, but there's someone else to see you. The Lady Aliena of Shiring. The Lady Aliena? When did that 
bitch become nobility again. <laughs> Explain yourself. I'm certain you've heard about the treaty the king made with Duke Henry at Wallingford Castle. I have. I have also heard that it's a muddled mess. It is a complicated deal indeed, but one that will end the war. Imagine if she kills both of them right now. And one that makes my family the rightful owners of this earldom once more. Only by word. There's no one who would come to enforce this, not even the king. Appeal to her conscience. Don't you see what your son is doing to the land? Soon there won't be an earldom left to rule for anyone. That's a lie. My William is a better Earl than mm. your father ever was. Don't think that's to true. To think that I once wanted to marry my good William into a family like yours. Not a day goes by when I am not glad that God saved us from that horrible fate. And that he sent that monk to Bishop Whaleran to unveil your father's evil plan. What monk? That prior of Kingsbridge. Philip of Gwyneth. What? Where is my Elizabeth? Why is she not here? I'm not buying that. I promised your son's wife that I'd make certain you'd be safe. Safe from what? Me. From a pack of impotent monks. I have an army outside the gates, ready to attack. What? Get Elizabeth. I want her at my side when the fighting starts. She's gone. She's gone. Gone? What do you mean? Gone where? I told her to leave Earl's castle. I cut she her suffered throat. enough under your son. Yeah. William didn't lay a finger on her. He did. More than once, my lady. That is a lie. Can't both be lying. It's up to you if this ends in a bloodbath or not. Oh! It's all up <laughs> to you. In the name of the true Earl of Shiring, make them suffer! They're coming. They are coming. Mother, Mother we are being attacked. Here he comes. What's going on here? What's that bitch doing here? You're dead, mate. She's trying to bargain. She's trying to take everything. Is she? Is she now? Leave it. Shut up, old man. Yes! Come on! Cut that whore up, Walter! No. You brought this on yourself. Yes. You, you bloody traitor! Nice. Someone get up here! Stab him, go on. Men! You will pay. You will all pay for this. Please tell me he just drops dead. Come on. Cutscene, 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 cutscene. Yes, he's done. Done him Arya Stark style. Wipe yourself off, man. You're dead. Piece of shit he was. Eternal torment. Very nice. See you later. Amazing. Amazing. Now we tell his men. God, he's gone. What an asshole he was. He has died. Stop! Stop fighting! Drop your weapons immediately! Behold the banner of the new Earl of Shiring! Yeah. The fox wins. Everyone, listen. Lord Hamley is dead. Thank 
Baby Jesus. The castle now belongs to the former Earl's family again. What? You're what? shitting us. <laughs> it was the king's wish. Who killed him? Killed himself. He died because he refused to hand over Earl's castle peacefully. He knew that the king was about to take the earldom away from him. Yeah. To avoid punishment, he took his own life. My name is Lady Aliena of Shiring. I'm the daughter of Bartholomew, I wouldn't even give him the a, former Earl a of death, these lands. A straight death, do you know what I mean? I've been tasked to end the tyranny of William Hamley and restore order to Shiring. Yes. Our occupation of Shiring has been made unlawful. Every attack on us is sanctioned by the King of the English. So what will happen to us then? I shall tell the King that William Hamley forced you to do his bidding. That every atrocity done to the people of Shiring was his doing and his alone. You will get your chance for redemption by helping the people of Shiring recover from your own cruelty. Yeah. And by rebuilding their homes and tending to their fields. Mm hmm. Ali, I know that you're a much better leader than I. Without you, we would never have come this far. You never hesitated with swearing and fulfilling the oath to Father. In the end, I will be the Earl in name only, but you shall be the true ruler of Shiring. Ooh, thank you, I'll take it, yes. Richard, thank you. I owe you a lot, Ali. The tyranny of William Hamley is over! The earldom of Shiring belongs to its rightful heir! Yeah! Reinstated, look at that. Send a messenger to Kingsbridge! to let Prior Philip know that Shiring is finally free. <laughs> what is it? Why are they laughing? Why are they laughing? You can send a messenger if you want, but there won't be much of a Prior left when he arrives. <laughs> what? Ali, what's going on? What do they mean? What? So that was 19. You snuck into Earl's castle with an army of outlaws supporting you. You told you talked to two former knights of your father. You told Elizabeth to leave. You ordered William's men to help rebuild Sharon, and Richard made you the true Earl of Shiring. Two more chapters to go, guys. The Pope believes we should either burn him or make him Bishop of Kingsbridge. I have already taken matters into my own hands. My men arrested him while Kingsbridge was left unguarded. While his friends took Earl's castle? Yes. At least in his death, William Hamley was of use to you. Look at all these people. It seems like they're enjoying themselves. They never change. You drooling dogs should be ashamed! Shut up, you old hag! Ellen? I I'm not feeling well. I'll take care of you. You two go ahead. Hurry up! Is... is your mother ill? It's... it's not that. This Why do I feel like Philip's this is gonna where they hanged my father. betray us? I don't feel like everything's kosher about him. The trial begins. Timothy. The judges. Brother of Stephen, King of the English. The Right Reverend Bishop Henry of Winchester. Her Highness, the Countess Lady Aliena of Shiring. Presiding over the trial. Oh, of course he is. Wailer and right, Reverend Bishop of Shiring and Kingsbridge. Wailer and by God. By God, he's a dickhead. 
get rid of him and his stupid little outfit. Please. Don't trust him at all. Not a the chance. The church is not without fault. We have gathered here today before the eyes of God to accuse one of our own. He wrote in his book that the church and the papacy are not necessary as intercessors between God and man. That God is in man. That all men are equal. And that each sinner is as close to our Lord as the Pope himself. Now, we ask God for his judgment. For his is the kingdom the power, and the glory. Not ours. And not yours. Why is he on trial? You stand accused of heresy. Oh, okay. Philip of Gwyneth, how do you plead? Cold. Answer! Not guilty. I am not guilty. Your teachings speak another language. Guilty, I say. Oh, that's it then. Trial over. Bye. I am <laughs> deeply saddened. It may come as a surprise to you, but we had hoped to make you Bishop of Kingsbridge. Why has it come to this, Philip? In part, I am to blame. I supported Philip in his early years. I demand that Philip be removed from his position of prior immediately. But why? No! And that he remain in captivity until such time that Shiring and all of England have healed from the poisonous words he has dispersed. He'll be dead by then. He's an old man. No! What? I said no. Accuse Wailer and himself. Yes. Come on. You are accusing Philip because he has defied you. I made him prior, and grateful he was not. But no, I accuse him because his teachings are false. And yeah, it's because he was on to it. To prove that he was on to what you were doing. decisions have been more than misguided in the past. Liar. Call in Remedius. <sighs> yeah, because he's so reliable, trustworthy. Father Remigius. My bishop. Tell the court, Remigius, what you have told me. For many years, I served as sub-prior of Kingsbridge. First for Prior James, then for the accused. What was your first impression of him? I was impressed initially by how he handled the discussions in the chapter house. What else? Prior Philip did not hesitate to give refuge to the people fleeing Earl's castle in the winter that our king died. Mm -hmm. Is that not a good deed? A true Christian act? You do not know him as well as you think you do, Lady Aliena. Today, that will change. It's funny how they all said Ten, that there's not going to be a prior, like it's a done deal. Fair, we were attacked. It's a setup, isn't it? I heard it's Ned Stark all over it again. Was terrible. I tried to soothe the woman's pain by reading the scripture to her. Our master builder's wife tried to put a spell on her with poisonous herbs. And Philip intervened. No. Yes. He pushed me aside and gave the woman poison. <laughs> it is worse than I thought. It was no poison. And then there was the day the Virgin Mary's statue arrived in Kingsbridge. I did not believe it was a miracle. Well, you should have. Give her that voice in the back. <laughs> Yes, it is a miracle. I hear of many who were healed in Kingsbridge. Yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, Mary, bless us all. 
<laughs> well, I soon realized it was a true miracle, but Philip did not. Philip was not having it. He was only after the money people donated at the Virgin Shrine. That is why I left. What a turd. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I believe there is one more thing you have not told us about. The color Something of your wife's very panties. Yes. Philip has fathered a child. Unbelievable. What? A son. They call the egg nest haircuts on the road. Raised him in for a the tuck. priory. He is guilty. He is guilty. Hang on, boy, is not Jonathan of Kingsbridge, step forward. Oh no. This is preposterous. What are they going to do to him? Is it? Is this true? Are you Philip's son? I have no father. Answer the question, Jonathan of Kingsbridge. Philip has always been like a father to me. But he is not my father. How do you know that? Master Builder is. He told me. And how do you know he spoke the truth? Exceed in his eyes. Speak. Philip would never lie. He told me that I was found in the woods. In the woods. <laughs> Is this true, Philip? Or are you lying? It's true. Well, he was abandoned in the woods. Yeah, it's true. My brother found him. Your brother? The brother whose master you betrayed? What are you talking about? Philip tried to involve me in a conspiracy against his brother's master, Earl Robert of Gloucester. And his ally, Earl Bartholomew, your father, Lady Aliena. Philip took in all those refugees years ago because he was to blame for their fate. As he was for yours when you lost your father, and your earldom. Nah, that's crazy. That, Lady Aliena, is the man you are trying to protect. They're pieces of shit, aren't they? Well... Forgive Philip. I know that he is a troubled man. We've all had to make hard decisions. Decisions that seemed right at the time. When indeed, they were terrible mistakes. I am thankful that I was forgiven when I made a mistake. Yeah. Now I forgive him. <laughs> yeah. Suck on that. Let us now return to the problem at hand. There is a man who witnessed how Jonathan was found in the forest. A man who can shed light on who Jonathan's father really is. And who is that? My husband. Step forward. What is your name? Master Yuda. He is the master builder of Kingsbridge. Have you lost your courage? No, I have not. You know well why it would be hard for me to face you. They call me Jack after my father. My name is Jack Jackson. <laughs> yes, we have met before. How old were you when you allegedly saw Jonathan as a child in the woods? I don't know. Twelve. But I know what I saw. Philip told the truth. Tss, you were a child. And what were you doing there? Dead eyes, right? The at twelve? I was living in the forest with my mother. Here we go. Ah, yeah, they the were witch. Outlaws. Prior Remigius is the most trustworthy witness we've seen today, and his statement was quite damning to Philip. The distant memories of an outlaw child cannot convince me otherwise. If father did Let him go! No! He would never do that! And yet, Lady Aliena is right. 
We do not know enough to judge him as harshly as you proposed, Bishop Whaler. Yes, yeah, sit your ass down. You are right, Bishop Henry. Sit your ass down. As I down. said, it is not up to us to judge this man. <clears throat> Philip of Gwyneth has pleaded innocent, but how innocent is he? We ask God for his judgment. As Bishop of Kingsbridge and Shiring, I demand an ordeal by fire. But stand in it, and if you survive, you're not lying. Philip of Gwyneth will be tried and judged at the stake. What? If he is innocent, God will save him from the flames. If he is not, then he will burn as the heretic and sinner God has declared him to be. That is insane. No! That is actually insane. Whaler and by God. Not this time. It's her. <laughs> Remember me? I saw the child and Francis. I was there. Philip is not the child's father. He is a fool, but he is a good man. Then who is the father? It is me. They are all in this together. <laughs> This woman is a witch and an outlaw, living in sin with a thief. He was hanged in Shiring 30 years ago. Wrongfully accused. He was not a thief. He was a good man. Yeah. You've murdered him, Whaler and by God. What is this nonsense? <clears throat> He was a thief. He stole a golden chalice and melted it down and sold it. What chalice? The chalice of the Eucharist. He stole it from the Cathedral of Kingsbridge. No, no, it's in the wall. Sacrilege. We found it. Yes, Prior oh, yeah. James of Kingsbridge caught him red handed. Confess to me he lied. Share the chalice. Is that the chalice? You said it was melted down and sold. You just say it's a different one. Lies. That could be any chalice. There you go. This does not prove a thing. Where did you find this chalice? In a secret chamber. In the crypt. We believe Prior James hid it because he felt guilty for falsely accusing Jack's father. What proof do you have? He told me, the night the cathedral burned down, I was there, I saw him. Prior James died weeks before that. No, he didn't. No, he did not. Bishop Henry, he speaks the truth. Order! I will give you until sunset to produce a witness who can prove your accusations against Bishop Whaleran. Not just this chalice. If you fail to do this, I will make sure you are tried for defamation. Ugh. Philip of Gwyneth, you will stay under arrest. The trial recommences at sunset. <sighs> Gotta try and find that witness. We need a witness. Mm. What are you doing there? I've seen you draw up plans for a cathedral. Maybe we can do something similar to find our witness. Let's see. Your father. He looks just like you. <laughs> My grandmother he? said he did. And Bishop Whaleran. What are the connections? Maybe by exploring them, we can find a witness. Good idea. So we got Jack's, Jack's father. father. If he was still with us, he could be our witness. Maybe he still can. Mother says Whaleran was behind my father's death. Yeah. 
And she said he wasn't alone. There were three men responsible for your father's death. Percy still alive? Bishop Waylaren, Percy Hamley, back then he was the Sheriff of Shiring, and Prior James of Kingsbridge. So Prior James is dead. Percy is still knocking about. Then they were all witnesses. And only Waylaren still alive. What happened to Percy? Is Hardly he dead, is a he? coincidence. Why would these three men work together to falsely accuse your father? Why, indeed. Hmm. Hmm. He was on the white ship. No one survived that night. No one lived to tell the story. Yes. He was the sole survivor. And then they killed him. But why? They were hoping that that was going to be the end of him. James was the prior of Kingsbridge. That's where they say your father stole the chalice, melted it and sold it. But we know that's not true. As we found it, Philip recognised the chalice. But Bishop Henry wants a witness. The chalice isn't enough. Hmm. But it's an important lead for us. I think we're getting closer. <laughs> James claimed that your father had stolen the chalice and sold it. But instead, James himself hid it in Kingsbridge, in the crypt. We found his scourge in a bed down there. What did he want it for, though? Money? That secret chamber is important. We're close. Everyone thought Prior James was dead. That he broke into the ice. And now we know he was hidden away. Why did his monks believe he was dead? Sub-Prior Remigius told everyone he had found James' rosary by the river. So everyone thought the body had been washed away. They buried an empty casket. <clears throat> but how is Remigius involved? He's the Philip witness. told me that Remigius was there when Waylaren made Philip prior. Yep. Waylaren and Remigius knew each other. That explains why Waylaren later made Remigius prior of Shiring. Mm -hmm. And Remigius recognized my mother when we arrived in Kingsbridge. He must have been there at the time my father was arrested. I think Remigius knows all about this. Is it possible that Waylaren told Remigius to make Prior James disappear when James began to talk about what they'd done? Yep. When James started talking to the devil. But for some reason, Remigius hid him away. But Waylaren never knew. Protecting him? Yes. That explains why he really didn't believe you. When you said you had seen James in the fire. He Where James he died, after all. And Remigius thought no one knew. Yep. We have to find Remigius. He's our witness. Let's hurry. It's getting dark already. The trial will continue soon. <sighs> so he's People know you too. You shouldn't walk around showering like that. Ah. <sighs> he's right. I'll go look for him. Mm. All right. <clears throat> Take care of yourself. And Jonathan. Yes? We will talk later about what was said today. About Tom. All right. He's not arsed. He's, he's chilled out right away. Now where are you? Where is Remigius? Where is Remigius? By the way, we need to save that. Why can I not go any further? Do 
Do you want to go in, Father? No, not yet. Thank you. Are you not with Prior Philip? Yes, I am. I pray they'll set him free. He's a good man. He is a heretic! You're fools! Look at yourselves! Who are you to judge a man who has never hurt anyone? Forgive them, Father. We don't judge him, but God will! There he is. Why did he run off? Go. Remedius? I don't think he's here. There he is. Wait, was that him? I think I saw him. Have you seen a priest walk through here? Father Amegius? No, sorry, I haven't. All right. Hey. Hey, Alfred. Yes? You're Jonathan, right? Yes, I am. And who are you? Never mind, but there's something you should know. Tom Builder. He left you behind because your mother died. He had no way to feed you. He thought he had no other choice. How do you know all this? He went looking for you an hour later, but you were gone. And when he finally found you in Kingsbridge, he was there for you ever since. But he thought he'd lost the right to be your father. Just who are you? Just remember what I said. I pray they won't burn, Philip. He's a good man. Uh, can we go home, Daddy? Yes. Let's go home. <sighs> mm. It's changed. I'm going to save it. The door's open. Is anyone there? You had one task. By God! No! Our bishop is very... very... displeased. Whoa! No! What are you doing? Destroying the I'm evidence. Doing what is asked of me. <laughs> Drop kick him out the window. Stop it! No! Stay away! This does not concern you! No! Who told you to do this? Later on. No one. I uh he, he'd be dead by now. Come on. No. <laughs> Took a little tumble off the cliff. See you later. Did a Tom on at the window. Do this to you? I will tell you. I will tell. Everyone. Yes, come on. Do you have a witness? Can Father I get a Remigius, witness? prior of Shiring. Where is Timothy? Don't worry about Timothy, he's splattered. What they told you is true. 
Bishop Whaleron wanted the jongleur Jacques Cherbourg dead. He ordered our prior James to frame him. And so he did. Piece of shit. This is a lie! Is it? James lost his mind because of what he did for you. He was about to tell everyone the truth. And then you ordered me to kill him. Nonsense. Let him speak. I couldn't do it. I hid him, but he died in the fire. Jack saw him. It was him. I found the bones after the fire, and I buried them. No way. You should put an end to this, Henry. That's so you bad. really should. Why would I? <laughs> you should stop this for your own sake. You knew about all this. Why would I care if that jongler lived or died? Your brother cared. Your brother? The jongler survived the sinking of the white ship. He saw how your brother's men killed the king's family so that he could take the throne. <laughs> this is preposterous. Is it? Bishop Henry and King Stephen ordered us to kill the man. To turn it on everybody. You want the truth? That's the truth. Right there. It is not. Waylaren is a liar. Regan Hamley. That's five people, right? I have waited long enough for this day. It is time I raise my voice. <laughs> the woman, Ellen, she spoke the truth. Three men were responsible for the death of the jongleur. Jongleur. James, the prior of Kingsbridge. Yep. The sheriff, my husband. Percy Hamley. Yep. But it was Waleron who was behind it. Yeah. And only Waleron. No! He had heard rumors about Thought the. Thought you were ship. slick, didn't you, Waleron? About our king. Thought you were so He slick. had hoped to win the king's favor by hanging an innocent man. We but it was not you. just me. They all knew. Take him away. <laughs> yes. Love it. It's about damn time. This is for taking my husband's life. It was Willerin. Oh, we did it. It's over. Yes. It's over. Thank you, Lady Hamley. This monk must learn his lesson. No. The Pope would agree. This trial is not over. Ugh. Philip pleaded not guilty. But he challenged the teachings and the authority of the Church. The ordeal of fire will take place. What? After all that? To show that the church is not above God. To show oh that my, my brother, God. the king of the English, is not above God. Not we, but God shall judge this man. This is madness! No, he can't do this. Philip! I told you, it wasn't going to be without destruction. No! You cannot do this! This is now a matter of the church, Lady Aliena. <sighs> My brother, the king and I, accepted the traitor Waleron into our midst. We were fools and sinners, even if we did not know. I pray that our Lord will save Philip from these flames. This is crazy. For his salvation shall be a salvation for all of us sinners. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Surely not. Surely not. They're doing it. Bishop Waylon was brought to justice. Philip did not admit to heresy. He managed to clear the name of Jack's father. Eleanor forgave Philip for causing her family's downfall. Jonathan learned who his parents were, and Philip was ordered to be burned alive. He didn't die, right? Epilogue. This is the end. Can't run. Is that Philip? It moves like Philip. I can't run. Just makes me think it's an old man, or he's wounded, or whatever. Survived somehow. Love it. Oh, I'm well happy. So, how did that happen? I hope we get a, a little gap filled with this. Ah, Philip. It is so good to see you, Jonathan. Tell me, how are things at St. John in the Forest? Francis is well. Francis? That is wonderful. Yes, he enjoys the <laughs> yeah. life there. You look worried, Jonathan. Well, you have a visitor. He just arrived. Is that not a good thing, Jonathan? Who is it? That is just it. I wasn't sure if you wanted to see him. Who is it? Who is it? Is that Remedius? It has been a long time. Ah. Wailer room. Yes, it has. So they didn't execute him then. I had to know. Jeez. Know what? The truth is, I never saw God or the devil. Have you? Oh Lord, deliver us from evil. Our Father. My God, there, be there must name. be something we can do. Oh, stop this madness! Are you blind? Do you not know that a fire will burn any man, no matter who he is? Why are you doing this? After Wayland's words, there is doubt in their hearts about my motives, about my brothers. No words can erase that doubt, but God can. Our Lord is a cleansing fire. Kick him in there. <laughs> He's still alive. <laughs> it's a miracle. What? He is a man. God is here. How is this possible? It's all a matter of perspective. We have to stop this! No, Jack! Come. It's a fire going out. My God. No, but that's what they see. That's what they believe. The 
water. It's it's dowsing the flames. It's it's a trick. To them, it's a miracle. The justice of our church. I believe Philip understands now. His book will be destroyed. If you or your friends ever mention the white ship again, I promise you will take Prior Philip's place. And God will not be as forgiving. Sneaky. Their faith in you and your church is restored. I say it was worth sparing that monk's life. That's so clever. The steam coming off the water, they, they thought it's been put out by Promise God. Promise me that Waleran will suffer. Yeah, what happened to him? How did he get away with it? Philip? Hmm? Yes? Did you see God? Did he save you that night? I told him. He only smiled at me. I never saw him again, as long as I lived. But how did he survive? Philip is back. Or did he just serve Philip. time? Philip! We're glad you're back. Did you walk all the way again? Just part of it. Old fool. <laughs> Ellen stayed in Kingsbridge. Together with Tom. I thought I had lost God. That he did not watch over us. But now I see him every day. He is in the good we do. In how we show our love. Jack's hands had become rough, his hair grey. But his eyes still burned bright like hot coals. It's good to see you. Aliena's gaze could be as stern as her father's had been. But her heart and wit made her a leader people did not follow out of fear, but out of respect and loyalty. Jonathan told us you had a visitor. Just an old friend. What do you think of this window? Jonathan came to look more and more like his father, Tom. As prior of Kingsbridge, he is also a builder of sorts. I use mostly warm colors. What good are the large windows if it feels cold? Sally is as stubborn and as gifted as her parents. It is her stained glass windows the light is falling through. She has children of her own now. And I'd like to show you the plans for the new cloister. Tommy will be the next master builder and is as silent as his grandfather was. Once I heard him admonish his father to be more serious at work. Jack only smiled. He knew Tommy was right. Martha stayed in Kingsbridge as well. She was always there for every one of us. God, look at the kids, they're so old now as well. It's judged on I don't know. Why don't you ask him yourself? Is Judge done now? <laughs> it will never be done. Not in my lifetime. Not in yours. Remember us for what we did. For who we were. And maybe for what we tried to be. And when you turn your eyes to our cathedral, maybe you will see yourself. Epic. That was brilliant. That was really good. For a PS4 game as well. It's an oldish old-ish game 
you answered Raylan's question about God, you have finished playing the Pillars of the Earth. Epilogue is done. Based on the novel by Ken Follett, that was absolutely amazing. Just going to check there wasn't anything else to look at, but that is it, guys. Playthrough done. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've missed any of the prior parts of that playthrough, there is a playlist live on my YouTube channel. Feel free to go and check that out. I've left a link to that in the description of this video if you are watching this on YouTube. It was an amazing playthrough. Amazing. Really enjoyed it. So I'm just going to go into the review section now for those of you that are stuck around or you've skipped ahead and you just want to see my thoughts and feelings on the game goes without saying it's going to contain spoilers i will try as much as possible to not spoil too much for anyone that's looking to play this from the off and just wants to get a feel for if it's worth picking up if it's worth playing so it goes without saying but the art style the graphics is very storyboard very anime in places and if you've played games like broken sword um other sort of point and click adventures you'll be very at home with this this is an older title don't quote me on the exact year this came out, but this is a PS4 game that I played on the PS5. It's something I've had in my collection for absolutely ages, and I've just got a bit of a gap in my schedule, and I thought, let's just install it. Let's just go with it, dive in, install it, and just see how it is. Um, and it's part of the reason why I did an offline stream um, and a video playthrough, rather than doing it as a live stream full game playthrough, because I thought, if this is gonna be crap, by episode two or three, I could not tell anyone about it. I just delete the game and just pretend it never happened. But actually, I knew from episode one, the first book, the first episode, the first chapter, that this was going to be something epic. And in the beginning, it took a little bit of a while to ramp up, but it does an amazing sort of scene setting. It just ropes you into the story. You absolutely care about the characters. The villains in the game are brilliant. They've all got their own sort of... Um, drive their own personality the voice acting's great and uh it just blends in well with everything that you've seen on the screen i think the music's excellent graphically as i said this is like a storyboard animation point and click type game you're not going to get absolutely mind-bending graphics and if you're playing the game just for graphics you're probably not going to be overly chuffed with it but for me as a point and click adventure like i said this relates more to games like broken sword and if you're a fan of those types of games you will enjoy this it's not as heavy on the drama and intrigue and uh, mystery and action as, say, like a Telltale series, like The Wolf Among Us or The Walking Dead. You're not going to get that here, but you will get elements of it, and it's just weaved beautifully in its own way. This is about a story where there's, you know, the, the church is there, the religion, the, the powers that be, the king. This is like an old medieval Telltale game, basically but not as heavy in terms of death, destruction, and dialogue. It's all more about the story and the characters themselves versus someone getting killed every two minutes. So if you're in it for action, you might be slightly disappointed with this one. But if you're a person that enjoys a really good story, that wants to dive into some new characters, that absolutely loves to root for the, the good guys and absolutely loves throwing stones at the bad guys this is going to be one that you're going to enjoy playing William Hamley was an absolute ring piece of a man and it took me back to the time when Joffrey died in Game of Thrones or Ramsay and you've just got that almighty thank god they're dead it's like they're done with and it, you feel that when William dies as well apparently there's different things that you can pick in the story different choices where certain characters main characters were as well can die even sub characters can die Tom the Builder could die at that point in, I think it's the start of book three or the end of book two, where he goes into the church to save Jonathan. And William's in there on the horse. If you say the wrong thing to him, he kills Tom. So again, that shapes the ending. It shapes the way that the story goes on. I don't know if the others are as cutthroat as that, but again, there's a version of events where Elizabeth, which is William's wife, kills William. If you choose the other option against what I picked, where you take her with you, she's the one apparently that kills William not you as Aliena so the story does bend and it does change um, depending on what choices you pick so there are consequences and there's big consequences in points in the game and I think that just adds to the replay value it also makes the story feel like it's tailored to you based on the choices that you make um, there's loads of games out there that go oh you know it's, it's your story is the way you play it but there's almost illusions of choice 
when you pick something later on the game just like corrects it anyway and it goes down the way that it wants it to be and there's not much away from the narrative that you can move but with this one big choices make big things happen big characters die plots change left right and center there's a butterfly effect almost to what happens and i loved everything about it it was really really good there were some dull ish chapters some were stupidly long too long in my opinion whereas others were too short i would have liked to have seen a little bit more so the pacing was a bit off in places but when you're trying to accommodate a game to fit a book and the book is like a bible it's massive you have to be very careful with what elements you pick from that book to include in the game because you can't have the game being 50 hours long and i think it's around 15 to 20 hours that you could do um that's kind of taking your time with things poking around but if you go straight for a guy if you follow a guide you'll probably get this done in about 10 to 11 hours maybe but i really enjoyed it and i think there is replay value there for people that enjoy these types of games um there's also nothing stopping you from making sort of hard save points and going back and thinking i'll save that at this point and then i'll choose something and i'm going to go back load it up choose something else and see if it, what happens and see if it goes a different way but there's key things that do shape the story um and just everything about the characters were great i don't think there was a character in there that unintentionally annoyed me they all had the even the sub characters they all had their own purpose um i kind of felt sorry for uh, well, i don't want to say william but if you look take a step out from what william was doing you can absolutely see that he just wanted to be seen as the guy and he just went about it totally the wrong way and he is an asshole nothing about <laughs> nothing about how his story arc ended was good he saw the devil in the flames which was his fear and fear got him in the end because he was just a piece of shit he was raping pillaging and whatever throughout the whole book the whole game um so he absolutely got what he deserved and he reaped what he sued he sue. but um he sued he sown. he reaped what he sown. but i still like looking out of it from outside the box and looking into it logically there was obviously big things in there that he was trying to live up to a name he was also being controlled by the church quite a bit in terms of whaler and and what his motives were he was using him as a bit of a puppet and he just wanted people to like him but instead of just reacting in the right way and adapting and being just a good person um he was vying on the the edge of power of fear and using that to control people and try and get them to bow to him basically which as you know never ends well he created too many enemies um and he got what he deserved in the end but this is just one example of many many characters that have excellent stories excellent backgrounds i would like to have seen a little bit more about jack's father's story arc um i know we found out who jack's dad was in the end but there's there could have been a little bit more done with that it was nice that they got sort of revenge for him and justice by ensuring that the three people that were responsible for his death paid for it um it was a bit odd as well with uh, wayleron they said oh to make him suffer but then he turns up at the end old as hell and it kind of looks like he's learned his uh, error of his ways so did he just serve time i don't know we didn't actually learn what happened to him i may have missed it but the bit with um prior philip as well where they use the illusion that god doused the flames and saved him and that all the people believed it but it was actually a parlor trick set up by the people that ran the uh the trial so the bishop and aliena they made sure that he wasn't going to die and that's why philip was laughing because he just knew it was all a setup and they, he was never in any real danger i really like that as well that was a good twist but on the whole i think the story was excellent the music was great the ambience in the game was great the only thing that would probably stop this from being an absolutely perfect score for me was like i said there is elements of this where i felt the chapters were too long and the shorter chapters could have been a little bit longer and I would like to have seen some of the characters fleshed out a little bit more. And that's about it. But for me, it's a solid, solid 9 out of 10. It's an excellent game to pick up if you enjoy a good narrative-driven story. If you don't want to have to think too much, this is when you can casually pick up and play. There's three books to the game. And as you can see here, it's split into three separate books. And each come with their own amount of chapters, their own dialogue, all that sort of thing. 
Uh, but for me personally, it's up there. It's over. I don't think it's quite Telltale material. I always put Telltale as the absolute pinnacle of storytelling in terms of these visual novel type games. But it's a very bold, very successful, I feel, game in that genre. And considering Daedalic have done some shite games, I don't think this is one of them. I think this is one of their better games, one of the better experiences that they have delivered for people. And to have to take such a meaty book and put it into a really interesting game, keep it fresh, keep it driven so people don't get bored of it, split that into three books as well and pull out the key pieces but also make sure that you've got enough narrative there to keep people coming back and understanding what's happening in the story as well is really really hard to do it's really difficult to do but i think the developers and publishers have done an amazing job at that it's kept me excited for playing the next episode it's kept me wondering how the next episode is going to roll out what's going to happen to so and so in the next chapter i wanted to just keep playing and playing and playing um, but I wanted to split it up just and give a bit of time in between each episode just so you guys mainly have a chance to watch it, mainly have a chance to get on board with what's going on before I just roll out all the chapters at once. But I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, loads of drama, loads of epic medieval backstabbing, mystery, intrigue, who done it, she done it, whispering, vying for power. There's elements of this that reminds me of Game of Thrones and great storytelling medieval type um tv shows and series and movies like vikings and stuff there's elements of that in here as well and you can tell that they've i don't know if this came before those things i think the book did but it's just you can tell that there's elements of that that they've taken from other narratives and other successful shows that have written things really well and used it in their own sort of formula that's not copycatting but also making it successful for what the game is because most people would find a game like this boring it's kind of out there it's not everyone's cup of tea and it's not normally mine either i'm, I'm a fan of point of click uh, games but i'm really just broken sword broken sword broken sword i don't really see anything up there with it but this is up there with it it's the first game that i've played as a point and click adventure where i've gone this is this is on par with broken sword and i like it so it's something different for the channel. I hope you guys did enjoy the playthrough. Let me know in the comments if you have played it. What did you think of the ending? If you haven't played it. And do you think I've been fair on the review? So it's a 9 out of 10. The only thing, like I said, that would miss it from being perfect is just the pacing on some of the chapters. And I would like to have seen some of the characters fleshed out a little bit more. A little bit more about Jack's dad's backstory. But I kind of understand as well at the same time that... They wanted it to be like he was just a guy, like he had a family he cared about. He was a good guy, good, decent guy. And he just got caught in the crossfire of all the conspiracy, which makes it sadder, I guess. But that's probably the impact they were going for. But there we go. Loads more content to be coming, guys, on the channel. I hope you like the new setup as well. I hope you like you, the new revamp. Thank you so much for all the positive feedback and the comments. There's going to be um, some content coming this week on Helldivers 2 because that's that's out Tuesday, I believe, or Thursday. Either way, there's going to be some heavy content on that. And I plan on putting out at least a live stream and some videos this week as well for Friday. More to come. I've got a new game lined up for the full game playthrough scenario. And I've also got an offline game that I'm going to be doing plus Helldivers 2, as I said. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is out at the end of the month. I will be doing a full game playthrough of that, so stay tuned for that as well. Plus many, many more opportunities and stuff to get your teeth into. But thank you so much for watching the playthrough. Until the next video or stream, your host is out of here. Take care all. Peace.